Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing a Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah for giving me some time with this Sequoia. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a twin turbo 3.4 liter V6 that is paired to a hybrid system and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are a whopping 437 horsepower and then 583 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you're going to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, it's kind of hard to see all of the different lines just because of the white paint, but we do have the cool TRD Pro badge there off to the side on either side. And then popping down below, we've got a very similar style of headlight to the Toyota Tundra, which I think looks really good with the Sequoia. And then you guys can see the marker lights here in the grill with the Toyota logo there as well. And then the grill size in the Sequoia is definitely a lot better than the Tundra. And then we do have fog lights here at the very bottom. And putting it all together, the contrast between the white and the darker elements with this looks really sharp. Now around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 285, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you got the BBS forged wheels. These are pretty dang aggressive all-terrain tires, if I do say so myself. And then we do have Fox shocks as well as TRD tuned suspension with this. And then just like the Tundra, you've got the camera print design here on the fender flare. He's got a little splash guard and then you can see the side step that could also double as rock rail protection. And then notice how that's all blacked out right there. And then you can see a little bit of blacked out trim there on the door handles. And then this one actually has the roof rack. And then here is the full side view with the Sequoia TRD Pro. And then take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the opening for the hatch and then you can see the Toyota logo. And then popping into the rear, I've talked about this at nauseum. You've got this whole cargo shelf thing, which is just silly, but it's because you've got a four wheel drive SUV and you have the battery pack under here as well. So it pushes everything up and just makes this awkward shelf situation. You can see we've got a little outlet here in the back, which is a nice feature. And then you got that to fold down the seats. And with the seat folded down, I mean, again, just because of the shelves and everything, the storage isn't the most usable, but at least you can slide it backwards and forwards. I think that's a nice feature. And then when you're all done, just press this button and that will lower the hatch right back down. Really cool taillight design here. And then you guys can see the blue hybrid badge Sequoia down below. And then I love the double exhaust tip set up there at the bottom. But putting it all together, I mean, regardless of the storage situation, I think this is a really cool looking SUV. Now inside you got soft touch here at the top and then you can see the little sunshade there and then more soft touch down below with the red stitching and then plenty of storage. And then look at the red stitching here and then again the camo print all down the center. Legroom here in the back solid, we got a little storage pocket and then you can see we've got the cup holders here and then our own climate zone in the rear, a bunch of little charging ports there in the back and then captain chair set up. And again, we got to talk about this. So notice the kind of foot space is great here, but then you got like the driveline hump all the way to the back. So then it pushes everything up in the back. And by the way, the seats in the back, they kind of cheaped out on them. They didn't do the cool camo print design on it. Um, but yeah, I mean th that third row is, it's not useless, but it's tight. And then take a look at the front door panel. You can see again, soft touch here. And then down below, we've got all of our window controls, the mirror adjustments, the mirrors do power fold in. Get your memory seat function. And then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And then payload on this is 1,315 pounds. And then you can see the headrest there, TRD Pro. Camera print all down the center. And look at the power adjustments. Really nice looking pedals. And then you got your heated steering wheel button here. You can see for the TRD light bar as well, gas cap release. And then you do have some soft touch. Now take a look at the steering wheel. You got the cool marker there at the top and then TRD at the bottom and perforated here on the sides. I accidentally hit the windshield wiper. <laughs> but yeah, really cool design. You got stuff like adaptive cruise control. You've got your volume and voice command controls as well. Turn signal, light stock, windshield wiper stock, and yeah. Full digital gauge cluster in the center, which I think looks really cool if you ask me. And then we do have the different drive modes for on-road use that you can switch between. This does have multi-terrain select, so you can also go through off-road modes as well. And then we do have a 360 camera system. You got the bird's eye view, trajectory on its turn with the steering wheel. Really good resolution. I'd say definitely one of the 
better camera systems out there, potentially even the best. I, I think it's really good. And then a yeah, huge infotainment system. You got the shortcut bar here on the side to access everything. And then notice got a little physical button for the volume down below. And then this is just climate stuff. We do have heated and ventilated seats, tri-zone climate too. And you got this for the trailer uh, backup assist and then you can see for the camera system, stability control, hazard lights, rear locking differential, and then your parking brake and auto hold. Shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission, notice TRD there. And then you get your drive line select here, notice four high and four low. And look at the stitching, it's everything on the side. And then your drive mode select here. As I was saying, your drive mode select here, uh, and you've got your tall mode built in there, multi-terrain and then crawl control and yeah, nice with the cup holders, and then I like that, that's pretty cool. Got the secret storage there, and then, yeah, solid USBs inside. And then notice it says Toyota there, and then more soft touch, and, and good storage in the glove box. We also have the camera rear view mirror, and then a panoramic sunroof. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear, and... Well, we're actually going to do the uh, heated steering wheel too. Let us set off in the Sequoia TRD Pro. So, if you're a Toyota person and you're watching this video, I've got some good news for you. It looks like the local Toyota dealerships are finally getting the new, <clears throat> excuse me, Tacomas in. So, I'm mentioning that in this video because this is obviously a Toyota product. Uh, so, that's another reason for you guys to subscribe is we are finally going to be getting some 2024 Toyota Tacoma content. And I think Toyota's actually sending me out a demo uh, truck as well. I can't remember when. I think it's sometime this month or maybe March. But yeah, there's another reason for you guys to subscribe. We're gonna have some Tacoma, Tacoma content coming soon. But let's focus here on the Sequoia TRD Pro. First off, what a monstrous engine. It's, it's awesome. Um, I, you guys know I'm a big fan of the new twin turbo V6 and then you know what the hybrid system makes it a little bit more economical and gives it a little bit more oomph as well. But it's, it's just a great powertrain. It's super smooth with the power delivery and it just, it just has so much low end grunt. And so I think it creates a really cool driving experience overall if you ask me. Gotta do the uh, defroster, <laughs> starting to fog up a little bit. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a smooth, it's a smooth experience. Now with the Sequoia, uh, it's got what I'd call a traditional two-speed transfer case, not an advanced four-wheel drive system. With that being said, these roads are pretty slick. And obviously this is not gonna be a condition where you can worry about being stuck in two-wheel drive, but sometimes, you know, vehicles in two-wheel drive in this type, you know, you're gonna be spinning a little bit. And I'm not really noticing that. It seems like it's doing a really good job of just putting the power down in two-wheel drive here. So I think that is, pretty impressive if you ask me. And getting up and moving again, I feel like this video is really cut up because I keep running into red lights and traffic. Not exactly the most ideal for review. But yeah, the torque is so good with this. It's, it's really, it's really a great powertrain when it comes to drivability. And this is a big full-size SUV. I mean, this feels pretty, pretty Tahoe-like in terms of the driving, and you do have a solid rear axle with the Sequoia. Yeah, really good punch. Now, kind of give this uh, slow Jeep Grand Wagoneer and uh, semi-truck some time. And we'll kind of punch it a bit. Smooth though, smooth to drive. Okay, we'll punch it. Okay, that took quite a bit of time for... Am I in eco mode, maybe? No, I was in normal mode. I'll pop into sport. Give give the Sequoia the benefit of the doubt, but that was that was the, the biggest amount of pedal lag that I've ever seen in a car. Like, I went foot all the way down, and it did not downshift. It took, it took a fat minute for the computer to figure out what it was doing. Let's try it again. I mean, the transmission's quick to shift, but it seems like the computer is kind of lazy. I don't know if it's because of the rain and it's trying to be conservative because it's worried about slip. I don't know. But that's, that. let's, let's try this. Let's try the stability. Why is it not letting me turn off stability control? 
Is it because I'm driving? <laughs> what is with the Sequoia? I'm pressing the button. I do not understand. I do not understand this thing. We'll just, we'll just chalk it up to user error. Anyways, <laughs> selling things up, I really enjoy, let's make sure there's nobody else. Okay, um, I really enjoy how the Sequoia drives. It handles well for being a big SUV. I enjoy this more than like the Tahoe and you know, all the other vehicles, and, you know, big full-size SUVs in this segment. It's just, it's just more fun to drive and it's, it looks cool. It looks really cool. Um, but some downsides, apparently stability control doesn't want to turn off when I press the button. Don't know what that's about. Um, aside from that, the the space in the back is just stupid. It And I understand why battery pack, solid rear axle, I understand, but it's still stupid. And then <laughs> the other thing about this is this is supposed to be an off-road SUV and that's why you've got a solid rear axle. It has like less than nine inches of ground clearance. This is a minivan, okay? Toyota, if you're watching this, your Tier D Pro Sequoia is a minivan. It's got great suspension. I love it, but it needs more ground clearance. I think to be a bona fide, genuine off-roader in today's world, you gotta have at least 10 inches of ground clearance. Eight inches was good back in like 1970, but it's 2024, 10 inches of ground clearance. That's what this needs. Let me know what you guys think about the Sequoia TRD Pro.